Hi everybody, welcome to another evening with Sips. Tonight, we're taking a look at Painter's Guild. A management simulator about managing a guild of painters during the Italian Renaissance? What? Is that a thing? I mean, my history is fuzzy at best. I mean, I, I don't even remember my own personal history half the time, let alone world history. But anyway, uh, I'm a sucker for management simulator games. Uh, by the looks of it, it looks like we're going to be doing a lot of what we would do in The Sims when we get our sim to paint and then sell the paintings, but maybe on a larger scale. And maybe we're going to paint some really rip-roaring, fantastic pieces of art, such as this one, which uh, apparently we can like look around at, which is quite nice, actually. All right, uh, this is literally the first time I've launched the game. Uh, I've never played it before, so let's try it. New game, sure. Oh man, look at that. Guild name, Guild of St. Luke. Whew. Bonus, House of Medici. 10% uh, gold from paintings. Uh, we can, oh, look at this. We go to Venice, we go to Rome. Whoa, bonus, the Pope. 25% gold from great works. All right, cool. Let's call ourselves the Guild. Wait, hang on a second. Oh, there's an engine limitation. Look, I'm in full screen and I can't edit. All right, fine. Engine limitation. One, me, zero. Guild of St. Luke it is. <laughs> I don't want to exit full screen mode. I hope that's not going to come back and bite us in the ass. All right, fine. Guild of St. Luke, based in Rome. We're going to go for the Pope bonus. 25% gold from Great Works. Next. Fine. Oh, name. Can I change my name? Maybe I have to also exit. Okay, well fine. We're just going to have to deal with what we got then. I I'm sure I can change my age. Let's make... Oh, the oldest we can be is 29 years old. Of course, back in this time, you only lived until about 29. Because there wasn't modern medicine and stuff like that. So most of the time you just ended up dying of like gangrene or whatever when you turned 29. That's just the way it went back in those days. Uh, we can choose to be... Uh, a homosexual which is historically punishable with death. I don't know if that'll give us some massive disadvantage or, or whatever. Well, fuck it. Let's do it. Maybe that just like enables hard mode. Okay, what kind of hat do we want? We want the best hat that money can buy for our painting. Uh, I think we go with this one. We're gonna go with the candy stripe. Uh, because it's like, is it the 1920s? Those were all the rage in the 1920s. Uh, our hair is going to be... Uh, all around our head and face. Fantastic. What kind of clothes do we want to have? We'll have these ones. Or maybe these ones, actually. Or, oh god, there's so many different choices. Look at this one. It's like a vest. This one is like some sort of, like, Technicolor dream coat. Should we go for the Technicolor dream coat? I think yes, we should. Oh, and we can have different color eyes. Oh, look, and there's, like, different styles of eyes as well. Big glasses. Alright, we're doing it. We've gone for... Big glasses, and let's have, uh, golden hair. There. I mean, we pretty much look like Elton John now. But our name is, uh, Fran Francesco Agnolini. F can we just call him Frank? Or just Elton John? We'll just call him Elton John, fine. Okay, we're ready to go. Elton John is asleep inside the Guild of St. Luke. He's having a little rest. What the hell do we do? Man, I love the graphics so far in this game. It's fantastic. Paint mixer. A hundred big ones. Paint plus one and skill plus one. Oh, I think we can, like, move stuff around. Oh, look. Somebody's coming to visit us at our painter's guild. Looks like Elton John is fully rested, wide awake, but he's decided to just lay in bed. Hello, who are you? I want a painting. Difficulty one whatever that is. I, I don't know. Okay. You want a painting with just a line through it. Alright, no problem. Let's set up the painting. And let's get Elton John all over it. Here he goes. Look at that. It's just a simple case of dragging him over. And he's going to start painting his first very simple painting. Does he need to do any paint mixing or anything? Is this going to be enough? Is this going to be enough to satisfy this man who wants to... Whoa! There's somebody else coming! Grazzi! All right, go mix up some paints, Elton John. I don't know what that does, but for Christ's sake, it's got to be good, right? Hello, how are you? I want a painting. Difficulty, I guess it's a star? One star. 
okay. He just wants like a little tiny painting and we can discard it as well. Are you done mixing up the paints? We're gonna get a little bit of money from that, I think. All right, fine, Elton John. It's time to do your second painting of the day. It's like a fucking painting factory here, isn't it? Or no, it's, well, this isn't one full day. As you can see, the days are charging along. Holy shit, this is pretty cool. Trend. Uh, Kangianti. Patrons are likely to request this style. Painting in it gives you 20%. Oh, do I have to do something with these paint mixies? Or no? Not paint stock. Used when painting. Alright, this one's ready. We got 23 big ones. I want a painting. A one star difficulty painting. He wants a painting of a window. No prop. Whoa, that's a big one. Alright, Elton John is all over it. What is this trying to tell me to do? Select where to- Hire a painter. Select where to search. We're gonna need to hire a painter at this rate. Because there's a lot of people coming to our Guild of St. Luke requesting new paintings. Alright. Where do we want to search? I think we want a country boy. Average talent is very high, but they cost a lot of money. Maybe we can't actually afford that. Uh, average talent is, well, average in the city, and we could just about afford this one. Search the entire city. Takes time and produces moderate results. Look for apprentices in your own district. It's quick, but you are unlikely to find any geniuses. Send one of your artists to journey through Italy looking for talent. Oh, man. Okay, let's do a city. Let's get a city boy. Or girl. Depending on how things go. Oh, look. It's counting down. Can I buy? Oh, my God. You can. Holy shit. Look at all of the furniture you can buy. Wow. All right. Can we afford anything just now? Maybe not, actually. What does this one do? Oh, it's just the options. <laughs> so disappointed. Prestige. Oh, nice. What's this? Yearly expenses? I think we just paid our yearly expenses. Hire means richer clients. Okay, cool. Hover over candidates for details. Click to hire. Stars represent talent. All right, so we got Porcello Genucci, who is a uh, level two discreet and uh, a two dollar poor muralist. Right, okay, fine. We all right. We also have Azo Borgo, who is a uh, one dinosaur chicken versatile and two two dollar stupid. And we also have a Buto Silimani, who is a two donut imbecile and a two dollar slow let's take him <laughs> hire buto yes buto welcome aboard buto all right who's this now i want a painting this is also a little bit difficult but buto is going to get right on it uh, and somebody's going to have to mix up wow elton john has just created like the masterpiece of our times look at this thing holy crap grazie no problemo okay Let's mix up some paints. I think we're going to need some more paints. Does that actually give us paint? Used when painting? Oh yeah, it is actually. Okay, so while Elton John is mixing the paints, the bar is going up. And of course, Buto is using paints on this. And it's going down. Alright, fine. I get it. As soon as we get some money, we're going to buy some furniture. A great painter. Sandro Botticelli is available for hire. It is said he could become a great painter. Use the button with the star in the top right to hire. Okay, this one? Great painters. How much does he cost? 900 bucks and the guild is full. Buto, you're gonna have to get out of here. I'm, not, I'm just saying. Uh, we want that guy instead. The great sculptor Donatello has passed away at the age of 80. His patrons, including the De Medici family, flocked to Andrea del Verrocchio. Okay. Poor Donatello. May he rip forever in peace. All right, another painting done. I want a painting. This one is just a one-star difficulty. It's another window. All right, Elton John, get on it. It's time to do what you just did a couple of minutes ago, but better. I think uh, I think old Elton John's going to need to um, get some sleep as well. Sorry about that, Buto. Buto is like pretty angry that I just picked him up and put him on paint mixing duty. We need the paints, Buto, for Christ's sakes. Okay. Uh, so our yearly expenses we can cover, I guess. Every year we just have to click that. Okay. I want a painting. Alright, fine. We have just the man for you. I hope you don't mind a Buto special. It'll be quick and probably pretty dumb. But, hey, you're only willing to pay, like, what is it, like 50 bucks for it or whatever. Painter exhausted. Uh, it looks like Elton John is very tired. Your painter is now losing health and must rest. Put him on a bed, chair, or sofa to recover energy. If he runs... 
If he is away, wait until he returns. He's not away. Okay, fine, Elton John. Have a little bit of a snooze. Don't worry. Friar Tuck here and Friar Tuck's brother don't mind waiting for the paintings. After all, you can't rush a masterpiece. You have to give these people time to pull it off in a major way. I mean, look at Michelangelo when he painted that ceiling. Did, did you have somebody coming in every day saying, oh shit. Right, okay, well, apparently history has taught us one thing and that's that if you are in charge of painting the ceiling, you better hurry the fuck up because otherwise that guy is just going to walk away with an angry face. All right, fine. It's okay, Elton John. You've got another chance. Here he goes, everybody. He's back. What's this? Is a blue quest. Congratulations, your guild has been chosen to decorate the interior of a church. Holy shit. Jeez, drag artists into the walls. Place them according to skill and style. Oh, no way. Okay, we have a 9% su success chance here, apparently. What about... <laughs> Do we want to try it? Alright, Buto. Do us proud. <laughs> Holy shit. Our guild is just going to get shut down. As soon as they take one look at Buto, they're going to be like, What? Hang on a second. We're actually paying money for this. This guy is just like throwing paint all over the walls. Oh, got another letter. Great work ends. Disaster. Your artist couldn't finish the frescoes in the time. As a result, your guild must pay a compensation of 31 florins. Shit, that was part of the furniture fund, Buto. Jesus. It was a slush fund put together expressly. It, well, luckily for us, Elton John has made back that money. He's recouped it. Okay, it looks like we got another huge one. All right, Elton John is always on huge painting duty because he's pretty goddamn good at it. Uh, at the same time, Buto, you're going to have to mix up some paints because we're running low on paints. Old Elton can't paint in there without his paints. Jeez, it's like asking somebody to assemble furniture without the right tools. Is that guy naked? I fucking hope not. All right, Buto, get some sleep for Christ's sakes. We're going to have to get another bed, I think. What is this? This trend is sfumato. I don't know what that is. But it sounds delicious. Alright, Buto is having a sleep. Elton John isn't too tired. Buto can get back on paint mixing duty. I want a painting. Oh shit, this guy wants a chicken dinosaur painting. It's a half a star difficulty. Alright, Elton. Show us what you got. Elton's getting pretty good. Look at how quickly he blasts through these. He's just like, eh, yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna fucking slam on a bunch of paint and make it look like roughly like something and hope that it does the trick. Excellent. All right. How do we buy some stuff? All right. I think we're going to need to buy at least another bed for a hundred big ones. All right. We want... Actually, no. They're they're on duty, right? Did we buy this bed already? We did. Oh, there's no way to actually get rid of this bed, I don't think. Oh, crap. Now I've gone into like... Hang on a second. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. We're back into full screen. I don't know what happened there. Anyway, there's no way to cancel your bed. And also, uh, we now have two beds, and it looks like Buto is still mixing up all the paints. Alright, another dinosaur chicken painting? No problem. Elton John is right on it. I think we can expand the guild after a while, too. Oh, look at this. We can, like, move this, like, expand guild into another room. It's gonna cost 500 big ones. Okay, we do not have 500 big ones, but we can make another room. Which is pretty exciting, actually. How is everybody doing? It looks like Buto needs some more sleep, for Christ's sake. He just gets, like, so tired so quickly. Alright. Meanwhile, Elton John bashes out another one. Holy crap, this is going to be the biggest dinosaur chicken we've ever made. Well, it's like blue. It looks more like maybe like a dinosaur-shaped jello or something instead. Anyway, Elton John is all about it. He's getting involved. He's getting involved and he's getting messy with the paints. He's not tired. Well, he is a little bit tired. Budo, get back on to paint mixing duty, for Christ's sakes. We don't need two painters. We need a mixer and we need a painter. And actually, Buto, you might need to take over because Elton John's getting a little bit tuckered out. Okay, fine. What's this? I want a painting. Yeah, no problem. Okay, fine. Elton John is going to take a rest, Buto. You can work on your first big dinosaur chicken. Got some more news. Medici, or Medici, sorry. Succession. Piero di Cosimo de Medici, ruler of Florence and patron of the arts, is dead. His sons Lorenzo and Gui 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 Guiano... Now rule in Firenze. Firenze. Forensic. Pathology. Congratulations, your guild has been chosen to decorate the interior of a church. Fantastic. Can Elton John do it? 
Yes, he can. Look at that. He got a 100% success chance. All right, Elton John. Even though you're in the middle of having a, a nice, relaxing slumber, you're off. There he goes. Oh my god, Buto is never going to finish this painting on time. I guess this little white bar is when they start to get fed up. So Buto is just ahead of the trend right now. He's just ahead of the curb. He might just be able to do it. We have 79 big ones. Oh look, there's more mail. Oh, success. It's Elton John. Well done. Your patron is pleased with the result of your guild's work. We got 28 big ones to add to the pot. All right. Get back to napping, Elton John. Oh shit, here we go. Here's another big dinosaur painting for us to do. Get onto the dinosaur painting, Elton John. Look at how fast Elton John goes compared to Buto. Well, I mean, Buto did actually make pretty good time in the end. Grazie. Okay, fine. I'm gonna just knock out another quick one here, too. Whammo! Man! Holy shit. This game is really, really enjoyable. It's very simple. I'm sure that it gets a little bit harder later, but Jesus Christ, it's pretty good, actually. I want a painting. Do you now? Fine. Uh, this is Buto's first foray into the world of painting a donut. Or whatever that is. Style. Donut style. Oh my god, I don't think Buto's up to the task, actually. We might have to get Elton John in on this one as well, Buto. Look at that. We're doubling up. It's a team effort. It's like double impact. You do the icing, I'll do the donut. <laughs> oh shit, we're out of paints. Alright, Buto. You're gonna have to let Elton John do this. We gotta mix up some paint so that Elton John can just whack this one home. What's this? I want a painting. Oh my god, this is getting pretty friggin' intense, actually. Okay, this is where the management comes in. We're micromanaging like demons here. Alright, fine. Elton John has got some time to make up, but luckily he's really good at painting jello dinosaurs. And look at this. He's brought it all home. Your painters must mix more colors. Use your paint mixer. We are, but Buto is just so dumb, he can't do it fast enough. Another one. This is an urgent one. Oh, jeepers creepers. Okay, hang on a second. We're almost done this one. And then we'll get right on to the... Okay, Elton John, I know you're getting tired. But Jesus, this one's pretty urgent. And I think we're going to get paid an extraordinary amount of big ones for it. And I don't think actually Elton John is going to be able to do it. Look at that. Despite his best efforts, we're out of paint. I think we've bitten off more than we could chew here. Oh my god, it does get a lot more difficult. That Friar Tuck is going to be fuming. It's going to be like... God damn it. I wanted this one painted for Robin Hood's friggin' wedding to made friggin' Marion, and now I can't do it. The music's all angry and everything is now. Oh shit. Okay, here we go. Elton John can make up for it. Man, we, def we desperately need some more paints. For Christ's sakes. Uh, it looks like the trend uh, for Jello dinosaurs is in, and we'll get 20% more money for painting them. Pope Paul II is dead. Six dis has been elected his successor. I don't know what that means for us. Um, maybe Sixtus will provide us with more paints. Buto just seems like to be on death's doorstep here. Okay, fine. Look at this. Elton John at least is good at mixing up the paints. Buto is about to die, and we're going to miss this one. Okay, is that enough paint to catch up now? Elton John is just going to slam through that paint that he's mixed up in no time. But we might be able to bring this one home, possibly. Okay, we've caught up anyway. Buto, how you doing? All right, Buto. Buto is a little bit more rested. Buto is painting the donuts. Can you do it? Whoa, hang on a second. Jeez. We'll get right on it. Just give us a damn chance. All right, Buto, you're on this one. Okay, you got to get back on the paint mixing. We got to whack this one out. Oh, wonderful. Holy shit, we did it. All right, Elton John, with the remaining paints, get this one. Whew. Oh my God, it's getting stressful. Oh, shit. This is pretty fucking good, actually. Okay. We'll be able to whack this one out too, and look, oh shit, we've got another great works to do. A hundred percent chance of, of winning this one, and 31 big ones. Alright, Elton John, you're out. Alright, Buto, you gotta slam this one home. That's right, Buto, we normally don't trust you with anything. It's like, um, just putting you on the paint mixing and giving you, like, all, like, the creepy jobs and stuff, but... Now's your time to shine. Do us proud, Buto. He's done it. <laughs> Holy shit. Alright, well, there you go. Painter's Guild. I picked this up on Steam. I think it's still in um, early access or, or whatever. Um, and as we saw at the start, there's a couple of little problems. Well, not really problems. The fact that you can't rename stuff uh, unless you're not in full screen, I guess, is a little tiny bit of a problem. But other than that, perfectly playable. You know, perfectly enjoyable as well. Uh, it's quite fun. I look forward to expanding my guild. I look forward to hiring on new painters. 
Um, and uh, seeing if actually um, we do get the death sentence for being a homosexual back in this day and age. An interesting feature to add to a game, uh, but uh, how it plays out, I have no idea. Anyway, there you go. Another evening with Sips, Painter's Guild. Um, pretty good. I can recommend it, definitely. I have enjoyed my time playing this so far, and I will definitely play more of it. Awesome. Well, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.